This was sent into the channel for a review. Uh, this is from a company called Matrix. I'm not familiar with them. They seem to have quite a bit of different types of test equipment. Um, so they sent me this. Uh, it is a MPS-3206. It's about a $70 uh, on, on Amazon. It says 32 volts, 6 amps. I think it's listed, though, as 30 volts, 5 amps. So I'm, I'm not quite sure about that. And uh, it's not programmable. Uh, it is selectable 110 and 220. So we'll leave it on. We'll leave it on 110. And has a fan built in. Um, comes with a power cord and comes with. Uh, actually comes with some hookup wires. Uh, that's kind of nice. I don't think I've seen power supplies that actually come with hookup wires before. That's that's pretty. That's pretty cool. So it has a positive, negative, and ground. A lot of times you'll put a little shorting bar here to put uh, the uh, negative and the ground at the same potential. And uh, power switch. And then looks like memories. Five memories. Uh, current and voltage on and off. Interesting. Okay. So let's uh, look at some power and see what it does. All right, there we go. I've got it plugged in. Let's turn the power on. And 25 volts at 5 amps. Looky there. What's a knob do? A knob, do knob doesn't do anything until we push some buttons. Volts and current. Okay, now we can change current, change voltage. All right. And if we... How do we go to uh, different... Oh, these are memories. Okay, so certain things are stored away already. Okay, 30 volts at 5 amps. And there we go. Okay, let's go change this ourselves. If we click this, yeah, that would go to the next digit. So if, I didn't even read the manual, so I figured it out right away. So that's nice. Yeah, uh, looks pretty good so far. I like LED displays, so that's nice. Um, over voltage protection, over current protection. So I guess you can uh, program those in. Yeah, let's, uh, comes a little manual here. It says economic regulated power supply user manual. Uh, zero, to 32, zero to 32 volts, maximum output zero to 6.1 amps, 4-bit LED display. Yeah, it's pretty good resolution, woo, resolution there, huh? Let's uh, get a meter here and see if it's actually measuring what we think it's measuring. All right, uh, so we programmed some voltage. Let's say we have uh, programmed, let's program in a volt, one and a half volts. Oops. So 1.5 volts, 5, five amps uh, maximum current. That's probably too much for that, right? Let's turn this down to, to uh, 1 amp. All right, there we go. All right. Um, and then we hit the on-off button. Uh, we should get power on the output. There we go, 1.499. Very nice, 1.499. Wow. Okay, uh, it's in co constant voltage mode. Very nice. Um, yeah, let's we'll see, see how accurate this thing is. Let's uh, go to volts. Oops, volts. Let's go to one volt is 1.000. That's very good. All right. Um, five volts, perfect. 10 volts. 9.996, wow, okay. I don't like that it kind of disappears after a while, but we'll have to push the button again. Oh, we have to push the, yeah, I don't really like the user interface too much. Let's go to 20 volts, 19.975. So uh, as a set and forget type of uh, device, it's great. For a continuously variable fiddling with things all the time, uh, you might, 
start swearing at it after a while. Um, but it seems to be very, very accurate for, for output. That's nice. Uh, let's see here. Let's, um, uh, let's put a load on it. Okay, I've got my big giant resistor here. Uh, my resistor is currently set to, how many ohms? Currently set to 4.75 ohms. Okay, uh, so that will be able to do some current here. Uh, let's go ahead and hook up the uh, thing. And we've gone to constant current mode, exactly one amp, very nice. Um, so let's go ahead and turn down the volts here, get it into something it can do. One volt. Okay. There. I don't know how to get it back out. And let's see, let's turn it on. There we go. So one volt is 0.2 amps. All right. Yeah, the little button here, little lights here says on. Okay. And let's go to volts mode here. And we can't see it uh, change. So I don't like that either. Um, here at three volts, we've got 0.6, so we can go up. It's more of a set and forget type of, uh, set and forget type of device. Um, and we're in constant current mode here, so let's go ahead and change the current compliance up. Okay, so current compliance, we will set it up to here to five amps. All right. And there we go. So now we've got two watt, uh, two amps. We've got 40 watts of power. It's my uh, my resistor is being very cool. <laughs> it's nice. Okay. Uh, so two amps. Let's change the volts here to 20. And now we have four amps. 4.122. All right. So seems to be outputting the current. Like you can't watch it change um, as you're as you're changing it. You can't see it live. It's like I said. It's a set and forget type of uh, set and forget type of uh, thing. And we can turn it on and off. There we go. 4.122 amps. All right. Let me uh, go ahead and get out a. Um, a load, an electronic load, so we don't have to use this uh, big resistor here and we can change things easily and uh, monitor exactly what's going on. That'll be a better system, better setup. All right, I've got my trusty load that I designed um, and these are not really fitting well in here, are they? Hmm, interesting. There we go. Oh, this wire is barely, barely going to reach. I have to kind of move it like that. Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, let's turn this on. And we're getting 19.925 volts over here, set to 20 volts over there. There's going to be some losses in the cable. Uh, we are at 2 amps. Um, so let's go ahead and ramp it up here. Three amps, 3.2, 3.2, very nice. Looks pretty accurate. Yep, looks pretty accurate. Let's take it up to about four amps. 4.04, 4. yeah, very, very nice. Seems very accurate. Uh, let's see. Should do five amps, so, oops. Did that just crowbar? Something happened, there we go. Five. Oh, we did crowbar over here. Ah, there we go. 
Oh, I think I, let's see, let's, uh, let's turn this off. No, we're five volt, oh, five amp. So we have to sneak up on five amps, okay? If it hits five amps, it's gonna, it's gonna shut down. So let's try to go to 4.9. There we go. Looks very, very nice. All right. Oh, let's see if we can get the case out here. There we go. Let's uh, bring the camera down. All right, let's start on the input here. Uh, things come in. Uh, let's see the ground lead. Ground lead goes to a screw. Some people don't like that. Some people like to see them riveted. Uh, this one goes to a screw to the case. So it's got ground. Uh, everything is uh, insulated, which is nice. It comes into a common mode um, choke and here is the relay for on off and here is the bridge rectifier um, and here is the first stage here we have rectified uh, high voltage and then that goes through a common mode I think or maybe that's for some other voltages. And then it finally uh, goes into a switching regulator. All right, this one is two diodes and I'm not sure about that one, but the big, uh, the big FET is on the, on the back side. It's over there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to read a, uh, I need to get another light here. Let's see if I can find a, uh, Oh, it's a uh, IRFP150, nice big transistor, um, and another uh, choke here, choke slash transformer, I think, and then it goes into the front, which is where all of the... Uh, uh, Electronics is, there's a microprocessor there. Uh, a little board here that might be the voltmeter. That would be my guess. Yeah, probably the uh, voltmeter ammeter. Here's the shunt for the ammeter there, the uh, big coil of wire. Uh, so this switch comes up to the front and it's hardwired for switching the AC. And then the soft, the soft button is the uh, up front, which clicks the relay. There you go. Um, yeah. Let me see if I can. This is, there's a celastic in places. There's a kind of glue on the connector so they don't come loose. Um, Let's see, capacitor brand. Uh, what is the capacitor brand? Sam's, Samux, S-A-M-X-O-N, must be Chinese. Um, yeah, I think it's very, very reasonable for that, for this price range. As a, uh, as a fan that's being controlled by the front. Yeah, I don't know. I think it looks pretty nice inside. Okay, I've uh, connected it to an oscilloscope probe, so let's turn it on. Um, we'll take a look at the, uh, look at it over here. Uh, turn it off. It bleeds down, turn it on, it comes up. So that's all right. Um, and let's see if we can look at the noise on here. Let's, um, all right, so uh, we have to make sure we're not picking up noise on the ground lead here, so I'm gonna have a very, very short 
I've wired in a very short connection to our scope probe and yeah there we go it's much 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 quieter so don't don't blame your power supply blame your measurement technique okay so let me kind of get this so it will hold itself there we go and then let's do a oops let's do a persistence time infinite yeah, very, very nice. Now we can up this. Let's see here. 20 millivolts. Okay, let's turn this down to about one second. All right. So our noise is, looks like it's running around, uh, oh, I don't know, 20 millivolts. And let me, it's really hard to keep this probe on here. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty nice. Let's come back out. We do get these uh, larger spikes here at maybe 40 millivolts every once in a while. But I'd say, uh, I'd say that's a reasonable I'd say that's a reasonable amount of noise for, a, for an inexpensive power supply. Okay, well, that's my review of the MPS-3206. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's pretty reasonable. Um, single, single channel, looks okay. <laughs>